When David Lopez was growing up in Las Cruces, New Mexico, in a family of five rowdy boys, he went to a Catholic parochial school and dreamed of playing sports. And the only use he had for a telephone was to call home. Those nuns were great teachers. One of the stories that, that I always to laugh at it with my brothers is uh, whenever you get out of hand with a lot of older brothers, they'll bring you back to reality pretty quick. One evening we were having dinner and uh, my mom, as moms are wont to do, especially from the Hispanic tradition, is, have you had enough to eat? And she would go around the table and says, Dave, have you had enough to eat? Well, I'd had plenty, uh, but instead of saying the usual, no, I'm full, mom, uh, the nuns had taught me better. And so I said, no, ma'am, I've had a sufficiency. Well, we hardly left the table before my brothers had pounced on me <laughs> and said, what are you being so uppity about? And so anyway, it's, it, they were a good balance. So between parents uh, who struggled from a uh, uh, financial standpoint to brothers who uh, provided tough love and, uh, and nurturing, it was, it was a great time to grow up and, and a great place to do growing up. He went to his hometown college, New Mexico State, and ended up being paid to do what he loved the most. So from the standpoint of thinking, OK, I want to uh, major in education, probably be an English teacher, teach journalism perhaps, uh, and that was the path I was going in, but my way to be able to uh, pay for my books and tuition at times was through my sports writing. I got to work in the sports information office, and when I graduated, uh, they thought they had a bargain hire. They, I was uh, glad to be in the right place in the right time, and, uh, and uh, friendships and relationships uh, certainly matter, and that was an early lesson. Dave had been at New Mexico State for five years when his friend Bob Dignio told him that he was starting at Southwestern Bell at a salary triple what Dave was making. He decided to throw his hat in the ring. And uh, ended up uh, starting a career with SBC and at the time uh, known as Southwestern Bell. The Bell system hadn't broken up so uh, people would have told you and my perception was I was going to go work to something akin to the post office. Uh, something moved slow, I'd be able to do my writing, I'd do other things. Uh, but through the divestiture of AT&T, a lot of opportunity came forward and to being with the company that ended up surviving all that and uh, thriving through all that. Dave had only been president of Southwestern Bell about four months when the tragic events of April 19th exploded in his life. It's one of those things to be able to um, read the Bible, hear lessons, to understand how God may operate, but it's another thing to witness near angelic acts. That gave me the opportunity to, at a very tragic time, to balance that terrible horror and terrible pain that the community was feeling with the lift of people caring for each other. So from that standpoint, it was, that whole experience was a lesson in faith to me because it showed me, again, out of calamity, that there can still be some good outcomes, but it's up to us. It's not a matter of what happens to us, but how we respond. For setting up a command center that housed two rescue teams, Dave and Southwestern Bell received an award from the Department of Justice. He helped Oklahoma City get a new ballpark, won the Governor's Art Award in 97, Humanitarian of the Year in 98, the Eagle Award, Corporate Advocate Award from the Tulsa Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Dean A. McGee Award by Downtown Oklahoma City, and in 1998 was presented with an Honorary Doctorate of Humanities degree from Oklahoma Christian University. Dave describes Oklahoma as a place of second chances for his family and his second wife, Lana. Since Lana and I both uh, are so enjoying our second marriages, we've come to talk about that we have a God of second chances. But it's been really something to see the blossoming that occurs and that the next generation that, uh, that we sometimes as parents see as victims work through that. Like so many things in life, that those difficult circumstances sometimes are the places where I seem to extract the the lessons that matter most and the opportunity Oklahoma seems to be a place of second chances and we're just blessed as a family we realize that. Sufficiency is no longer in Dave's vocabulary when it comes to service. As president of American Fidelity Foundation, he oversees grants in education, human services, the arts and economic development. This humble man of faith and tireless action who would take credit for none of the awards he received is a true servant. There is an Hispanic saying, the fragrance of the rose remains on the hand that gives it. Dave's kindness and compassion seasons every project with energy, passion, and hope, which is why the Oklahoma City Minder School of Business is proud to award David Lopez with the President's Award.